Buttons. Button. Buttons. Buttons. That's right. Today I'm talking tabletop buttons. Not shirt buttons, not microwave buttons, tabletop buttons. So there's a lot of ways you can attach a tabletop to a base, but this is one way that I like to use. It's quick, it's easy, it allows for seasonal movement of the tabletop, and so I'm gonna show you how I do it. Before I get started, I will say I use my Festool Domino to cut the mortise, but the exact same thing can be done easily with a biscuit joiner or even a router with an edge guide or with like a slot cutting bit. In case you're not totally sure what I'm talking about, let me grab a button and show you real quick. Hold on. So let's pretend here's my mortise cut with the domino. Here's my tabletop button and it essentially just slots in here and then attaches with a screw into the tabletop. So first things first, I just use a scrap of Baltic birch plywood. I like using plywood because you don't have to worry about grain orientation. If you're using solid wood, you have to make sure the grain is running in the right direction, otherwise the button could fail. Let me show you that too. I've got an example. Here's a button. As you can see, the grain is running across the button. So with some pliers, I can easily snap that bad boy off. That's not good. With my plywood button, there's no break in that. So my plywood strip is three quarter inch Baltic birch plywood, and it's about an inch and a half wide. And all I'm really doing with that strip of plywood is cutting a rabbit on one edge of that strip. So the first cut I like to make is the vertical cut, and that registers the thickness of the button tongue. In my case, I'm using a six millimeter bit in my domino, so I want that tongue to be just about six millimeters, maybe slightly less. So I set the fence, set my blade height to around how long I want that tongue to be, and make that vertical cut. Once I have that, I adjust my fence, adjust the blade height to then finish that cut. And you can see I have a nice rabbit on that entire strip of plywood. At this point, I mark out on the strip of plywood where I'm gonna drill my pilot holes for the screws to actually attach it to the tabletop. Once I have everything marked out, I go to the drill press, drill all my holes, and countersink everything. I then take it back to the table saw, cross cut them all into the individual buttons. And those are pretty much done, maybe just a little bit of sanding and they're good to go. Once my buttons are finished, it's time to cut the mortises into the table base. So for me, I use my domino and I set it to a proper depth. And more importantly, I want to set the height so that when I, when I slot the button into the mortise, I have about a one millimeter or so gap between the tabletop and the button. That way when I drive the screw into the button, it actually pulls down on the tabletop and it assures that there's not going to be any play between the table base and the table top. Once I have all those buttons in, making sure to leave a little bit of a gap so that when the tabletop moves throughout the seasons, there's plenty of room there for, for it to expand and contract. So there you go, tabletop buttons, simple, super effective, one of my preferred methods, so thumbs up for that. Now I gotta get back to finishing this table, making some more tables, but before I go, as I always say, Keep those tabletops buttoned and your shoes tied. Still terrible. <laughs>